Oh, good morning. So we have seen countless, countless times in our industry that when technology becomes more accessible, when it becomes easier to consume, and when those barriers for adoption are reduced, the result is a crazy increase in demand. New usages will emerge, new opportunities will surface, new business models are invented, and cloud computing is the fundamental enabler. It is the benchmark for delivering efficient and accessible technology. And Amazon continuously bends the curve on what is possible. For nearly a decade now, Amazon and Intel have been collaborating to deliver new services and new applications, and that leadership just continues with today's announcement from Werner on the X1 instance based on Xeon E7 V3. The X1 instance is the first real use industry-wide of the Xeon E7 microprocessor in an infrastructure as a service offering. So the Xeon E7 V3 delivers a huge boost in performance for memory-bound applications given the tremendous increase in memory bandwidth and memory capacity, two terabytes of memory as you heard Werner say, and it also delivers an incredible boost in performance for highly concurrent workloads, uh, those thanks to the very large memory core count up to 100 virtual cores. So I believe this will be a timestamp moment, the moment where it becomes very clear that cloud computing needs extreme performance. Performance is critical for delivering these new emerging workloads like we've been talking about, real-time, end-to-end data analytics solutions, meeting the rapid need for analysis off of massive, massive data sets. And so at Intel, we've been working to demonstrate what is possible with end-to-end -end data analytics solutions, leveraging AWS services. And it's clear why you would leverage AWS services. It's how you get that rapid deployment and rapid scale of applications, open APIs, access to very high network bandwidth, and very efficient storage. I truly believe data analytics is going to transform every industry, but a compelling place to start is in addressing some of the world's big, biggest problems, curing diseases and increasing the world's food production, as you heard in the last. The healthcare industry is an industry that is ripe for innovation through big data analytics, and we've been working now for over a year with the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Um, we've been applying wearable devices and big data analytics to improve the research and treatment of Parkinson's disease. So we're now collecting 300 events per second, per patient, 24 by 7, up to almost now 1,000 patients. We're tracking the pace of their steps, the tremors in their hands, their sleep patterns. All of that data then is collected, and obviously the more data and the more patients, the more accurate the machine learning algorithms are and the more accurate the models. Those models and that data are then distributed securely across research institutes around the world, unleashing all the brilliant researchers that have theories about the disease and the treatment but have lacked the tools and the data to prove those theories up until now. We have also uh, been working with FarmLogs, who's a partner of John Deere, and they're a, a data science startup that's helping farmers maximize crop productivity. So in the U.S. alone, farmers are challenged with needing to double the food production of the United States by 2050, while the amount of agricultural land decreases every single year. So what FarmLogs is doing is they're integrating data from multiple sources, data from satellite observations of the field over time. They're combining that with crop yield data real time from the combines. And then they're providing that yield map to the farmers to optimize and maximize the harvest. Then with machine learning algorithms, they're creating a model of the field over time that then can alert of crop uh, health issues, alert them to the farmer to adjust harvest. All of this is running on AWS services, all of it running on Intel technology. So with such compelling results, uh, we know that the biggest limiter to end-to-end -end big data analytics solutions is complexity, as Werner noted. And that is why Intel and Amazon have been working to reduce this complexity and just make it easier to deploy solutions. 
You heard Werner announce the AWS IoT platform, a service that enables secure communication between the IoT device and the cloud environment. And I'm pleased to say that Intel's Edison IoT Developer Kit is supported in the AWS IoT platform. Uh, and AWS and Intel are actually running a developer boot camp here this week. And we've had so far over 200 developers come with some very exciting end-to-end -end analytics projects. And we welcome all of you developers in the audience to stop by and get access to these kits. On the other end, to ease the cloud solution deployment, uh, we just launched the Intel Trusted Analytics Platform. And that's a platform as a service for data scientists and application developers. So it's providing an integrated open source analytics software solution running on AWS. So it is great to be able to collaborate with a company like Amazon. And together, we enable the future with this constant beat rate of new solutions and new services delivered from the cloud. Thank you.